Hello, hi, and welcome to Empathic Fire. I'm your reader, Jay. This is a mid-March reading for Capricorn. What's up, Capricorn? How's it going? Surprised to see me? Maybe you are. <laughs> welcome to your mid-March reading. Uh, this is something I'm implementing on the channel. It was kind of spur of the moment kind of thing. Uh, if I'm honest with you, Mercury Retrograde is here. It's stirred up a lot of things for me personally. And so one of the things that it stirred up is that I, I've already mentioned doing this in, in February or January that I wanted to create new content for the channel. I used to do weeklies. I used to do love readings. And then I decided, oh, that's not really what I was resonating with. So I think for now, I think I'm resonating mostly with monthlies and mids. And I think I might introduce a semi-random, but then semi-kind of periodical third type of reading. So uh, also you'll see that you're going to be the first sign that I read for. So another thing that I was led to do, it's Mercury Retrograde, guys, <laughs> is uh, that I did this random draw. So you guys came up first in the random draw. So it's you first. I think the second sign is Scorpio. Third was Sagittarius or Pisces. I can't remember. Uh, anyway, so that's enough of the rambling. You know the deal here, but it's a little bit augmented. Uh, instead of six card spread, you're going to get a four card spread. You're still going to get an outcome and an overall energy. And depending on what I'm feeling, we might do oracles. Maybe. Maybe. I do oracles for personals. I used to do oracles for weeklies. Maybe I'll do them here for the mids. We'll see. We'll see what, what's shaking, okay? So let's go ahead and get an outcome for you, Capricorn, in mid-March 2019. Outcome for Capricorn, please. And of course, if you've been here before, you already know the deal. There's a timestamp down below. Hit it <laughs> if you wanted to jump to the beginning of the reading, okay? Bottom of the deck is the overall energy. You did have... I thought you had another card flip out, but I could be wrong. I don't see it. So no. Mm, figment of my imagination, maybe? I don't know. Outcome there. Let's flip the other two and let's see what's shaking with you guys, okay? Oh boy. Two reversals. Uh, let's see what's going on, Capricorn, okay? <sighs> please show me Capricorn's prominent energy in this mid-month of March, please. The prominent energy for Capricorn in the mid-month. This one. Okay, thank you. All right, so right now, oh, excuse me, I almost called you Aquarius, so that might mean something to some of you. Uh, but you have the chariot in reverse right now in your mid-month point, Capricorn. I'll show you this card up right so you can kind of get a look at it. But again, a reversal. So uh, some of you might be feeling kind of stagnant and you're not really moving in the direction that you want to go. As you can see a little more clearly in the upright, there is a sign giving a straight direction to the driver of that vehicle. But again, your energy or excuse me, the placement of your card came in reverse. Uh, also notice there's like some grassland or like a farmland over there. There's a cow over there. So some of you might be blocked from travel plans. You might've had to cancel travel plans or your travel plans have been rerouted or rescheduled. Uh, but more than that, it feels like, eh, you know, things aren't going the way I want them to. I'm feeling a little held back. I'm feeling a little stuck. And of course that can be due to what I was talking about in the intro, the Mercury retrograde. A lot of things end up like turning on their head. A lot of our expectations go right out the window and the things that we were planning for ourselves, the, the, the trips we were going to take, the developments that we had uh, laid out for ourselves just kind of get delayed or completely canceled. In your case, Capricorn, I'm feeling like there is a hint of cancellation for some of you. Uh, so again, I'm feeling canceling travel, but I'm also feeling like canceling events. So maybe you were planning a party, maybe you were planning some type of reunion or a get together amongst friends and it's just like mm, nobody can make it and it might be late notice too i'm feeling that like there might be some late notice like somebody calls or messages you like the day of and says oh i'm not gonna be able to make it sorry and it's just like really you had to wait until the day of to cancel it so uh yeah and that's also what they're showing me like since this person is in a car they're showing me someone slamming on the brakes like 
like screeching halt. So there is delays, cancellations, people falling through or letting plans fall through. And it could be you. You could be the one canceling. But I'm feeling this is more what you're receiving, Capricorn, if I'm honest. But some of you, for the sake of probability, could be the one canceling on others or, or, or throwing plans out the window. But I feel more people are canceling things on you. Now, what else do we have here? I think we're going next door. Yes. So we're going next door and you have the hangman in reverse, which I always think is fun because it looks like it's in the upright when you hold it up to the camera. But no, it's actually in reverse. That's what it looks like upright. Secondary card of Pisces. So you might have a Pisces of importance in your life, but it doesn't have to be. And I didn't, I don't know if I mentioned the, the, maybe I did. The chariot is the major arcana card for cancer. So there might be a cancer in your life, but you know the deal. It doesn't have to be that. Now, secondary card of Pisces in reverse. And she's holding an apple. I've worked with this deck before, but I don't I don't usually bring it on camera, so there's gonna be things in it I, I'm noticing. Interesting. So I feel like if you look at this again in the upright position, you see that basket of apples there. This woman is hanging from an apple tree, she's got an apple on her t-shirt, and I guess she's wearing like gloves while she's picking these apples, but she's not doing that work. So maybe some of you had plans canceled for traveling for work you know maybe you were going to a seminar or you were going to a convention and that got delayed or that got canceled or you're not able to make it you're not able to you know make a connection flight in some cases maybe there's still bad weather especially out in the midwest i i, I, I don't live in the midwest so i don't know but there still might be barriers up in terms of travel why you cannot make it uh but there also is for some of you maybe an unwillingness to work or an unwillingness to participate in the convention in the seminar or to know you know you come down sick perhaps i'm not sensing sickness but just for the sake of the argument that could be a thing that is going on with you um the hangman in reverse though is basically also showing to me <laughs> like there's work to be done or there's something that could be handled or something that could be sort of taken over like the reins might be passed from you to another person or might be passed from another person to you and there's no like reception of this you know again this card is in reverse but it looks like it's upright and it's a card of Pisces or excuse me rather yeah, that's what I want to say. Yeah, it's a card of Pisces. And Pisces is known f for being a receptive sign or a, a sign that is heavy on receptivity. And when you get the hangman in the upright, you have nothing else to do but receive. You're tied up. You know, you've got nowhere to go. You can't pick those apples. So you just kind of have to take what comes to you. But you've got it in reverse. So there's like a denial or a rejection of receptivity, a rejection of having your hand out and taking what someone offers you or someone having their hand out for whatever you're trying to offer them. And there's like not an exchange going on or it's a tense exchange. It's not pleasant. I'm going to say that it's not pleasant. So you're, you're like jammed up. This is like a traffic jam or something. It's like no movement in a certain area of your life, particularly work or, 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 or uh, vacation plans. And then when you try to amend that situation or divert your energy into something else, there's no receptivity into it. You also might be lacking time, time for this, because again, that receptive, that passive energy means you've got nothing to do. You're hanging around, but you're in revert. Like when you're in the upright, you're hanging around, but you yourself, Capricorn, you're not in the revert, or excuse me, you're not in the upright. You don't have time to, 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 you know, sit around and not get things done or someone doesn't, or you don't have time to waste is essentially what it is. Okay. Now, what else is going on for you in the mid of, I almost said February. So some of you might have something lingering over from February, but the middle of March, what else is happening with you? Um, so I think You've been disappointed in something, your job, travel plans, vacations, reunions, whatever. And so I think what you will want to do or what you might be best to do, quote unquote, best to do is to kind of take care of yourself. 
and to give yourself some TLC. Got the Empress above that chariot position. Major Arcana uh, Empress, secondary card of Taurus and Libra. So either of those signs might be important to you, but you know the deal. They don't have to be. Uh, Empress. So as much as I was just talking about you don't have time on your hands, I think maybe the time that you do have on your hands or maybe the time that you should start to prioritize for yourself or an area that I feel is, yes, I think it's like, take care of yourself, girlfriend. Take care of yourself, guy. Like, if you need a spa day, like if people cancel at last minute lunch with you and they don't want to go out or, you know, they couldn't find a sitter, whatever it is, don't just go back home. Take yourself to the spa. Take yourself out to the movies. Take yourself to that damn luscious brunch spread, okay? Don't be afraid to indulge and take care of yourself. If other people aren't going to do it, do it for yourself. And that's the thing. The Empress does it for herself. She's not in this luxurious position. She's not lying on that chaise lounge because of other people. She's doing it because she enjoys it. She's doing it because she knows it will give her pleasure. So consider what gives you pleasure right now, Capricorn. And if other people or other situations have disappointed you, things haven't gone to plan, again, it's Mercury retrograde, do something, even if it's a little thing, that will give you this kind of shine, will give you this kind of taste of luxury and really pamper yourself for a moment. Again, it could be in a small way. You know, if you have been really good with your diet, splurge a little bit, get a piece of cheesecake, call in your girlfriends, Dorothy, Sophia, Rose, and Blanche and have some damn cheesecake, okay? Whatever you need to do, give yourself a little bit of pleasure because I think that's what will mitigate it won't relieve all of the stress or all of the the discrepancies you have here but i think it will give you that balance a little taste of charity is how i'm feeling this but again towards yourself towards yourself capricorn so if if you maybe it was taken from you like the position at the job or the event or like the 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 what was it um seminars or conventions maybe someone said oh we're not gonna pay for you to go to that thing so you know screw off or whatever so <clears throat> i feel like this six of coins is telling you you see how she's throwing <laughs> that money to the beggar it's like you're not a beggar capricorn you're actually pretty flush you're actually pretty accomplished. You're actually pretty balanced because sixes uh, talk about balance in, in the tarot. So you're not hurt, even though your ego might be a little bruised, even though your resume might take a little bit of a, of a dip or you were telling people, come to this conference, I'll be speaking. And then now you have to say, oh, I'm not speaking. Maybe there's a little bit of egg on your face, but you're never truly in a position of poverty. You're in the position of that female there on the card. You're the one who gives out charity. You're the one who has the extra money to spend, right? So I think without trying to, because I'm not sensing it's deliberate, I do feel a lot of this decision to stop, put the brakes on something, re renege on something, is, is a business decision, is a practical decision. And again, it might hurt your ego for a second. It might leave you a little bit of egg on your face, but ultimately it's not going to knock you off your perch it's not gonna knock you off your off your square man you're fine okay now your outcome for mid-march is yeah look who's here it's you the devil <laughs> sorry major kind of devil card the card of uh, capricorn so you're here in your own reading so i think you have a handle on things a little bit of disruption mercury retrograde guys little bit of haywire cross 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 wires with communication things aren't necessarily going to plan but it's ultimately not going to dampen your spirit or dampen your power okay and i feel that this is more a position of power right i mean this woman she's got that guy chained to a bed she's got that devil figure up there on her wall that painting or whatever so there is she's she's whatever is about to go down in this in this boudoir that woman there is in control. So there is this idea for you, Capricorn, that you will remain in control. You remain in your status. You remain in the driver's seat. Ha ha. With the, with the chariot in reverse. You remain 
the person who to some degree is going to call the shots here. Nobody's taking you out of your position. Nobody's going to undermine you. Um, there might be a tendency for some of you to go overboard with this energy. So I want you to be aware of that. They want me to tell you like, okay, like, yeah, you got power. Yeah, you've got, you know, some weight to throw around, but don't become sort of tyrannical with it. Don't rule over people with an iron fist because the devil can take, t take it up to that level, can become just a nightmare. Like, oh, you think you rule this? You think you're in control? Oh, let me show you. And then it becomes this whole thing. And then, ugh. so don't take it over the top. Just realize that your foundation, what you have to work with, where you start, it's not even, nothing is shaking you. Okay. Overall for mid-March, you've got the two of swords. <sighs> So this haywire act, or haywire, this high wire act, yeah, um, you might have been led into something blindly or you may have walked into something and didn't know the details of it, didn't really, you weren't really clued in on the specifics of something and you may have agreed to it or someone may have just like, I don't want to say they tried to pull a fast one on you, but I feel like somebody may have like given you this energy. If they didn't try to beguile you they presented themselves this way i don't know what's going on i don't know what i feel i don't know what i want i can't make a decision and i feel this way but then i feel that way or i think this and then i think that and there's like this sense of confusion and there's this you know i don't want to say it's risk-taking because it's it's really not as risk-taking as the image is portraying i do feel though there is like this either or where do we go what's next are we going back that way? Are we going this way? You know, there's like a decision making that needs to happen. But I feel that for the most part, this has transpired for most of you. Like you already know what this is. You already know who this is. You already know when this happened or what, what day it occurred on, you know, stuff like that. Um, but the other thing I get from this is like, It's not impressive. Like, that's kind of why I like using different decks, because it gives me a different chance to interpret them. Seeing someone do this, like, in a circus act or, like, on America's Got Talent or something would be amazing. Like, oh my god, that person's going to walk across a rope with blindfolds and they're carrying... That would be amazing. Like, people don't do that shit every day. But for you, in this tarot reading, it's not impressive. It's actually quite annoying. Like, Capricorn, you don't like that stuff. You don't like the danger or the risk involved in this. Like, this is unnecessarily risky. This is unnecessarily a, a bother. This is unnecessarily, you know, like someone's making a mountain out of a molehill or something like that. And it's just like, ah, oh, you're so tired of it. So it could have been something in, with the job. It could be something with your friends as far as like, oh, I think I'm coming to the brunch or I'll let you know by Thursday. Thursday comes and goes. And then this b-i-t-c-h like emails you or messages you the day of brunch i'm sorry i can't and you know it's just like i'm not impressed that you took this long to decide on whether you wanted mimosas on saturday morning karen Ugh. <laughs> so that's what i get for you now are we doing an oracle for you if i do it for you i'd have to do it for everybody let me see do we want an oracle today no Okay, they said no. And so I'm going to say no. <laughs> All right, so Capricorn, that is your reading for mid-March. If you liked it, you know what to do. Like button down below, subscribe, comment, share the video, all that good stuff with YouTube. And I will be back, maybe, I don't know. This is, like I said, a spur, a spur of the moment thing that I did this with. But uh, I might be back <laughs> doing a mid-month in April. Uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.